Okay, next strategy, internal transfer with unchanged total. Okay, sometimes your teacher may call it total unchanged. Okay, so who is familiar with this topic or this strategy? Total unchanged, internal transfer, total unchanged. Okay, very good. Amiru, Dari, Hamza, Taufik, all are familiar. Who have not heard of this total unchanged? Who have not heard of it? Design say a little. Okay. Super familiar, Faiz, yes. Who is not familiar or who has never heard before? Heard before, okay. Heard before, kind of. Huh? Can you say kind of? Okay, very good. Huh? Okay, let's see. Huh? Let's, let's, uh, Okay, let's uh, solve some question related to this topic. Eh? Okay. Now, when do we use this? This concept involves changes that take place internally or changes that involve mutual exchange. Okay, let me, uh, you know, elaborate further. For example, Alan and Ben have some marbles in a certain ratio at first. Maybe one is to two, two is to, uh, two is to three, or one is to one. Then Ben gives some marbles to Ellen. Uh, you can see here, Ben gave some marbles to Ellen. Right? They give to each other. The ratio number of marbles Ellen and Ben have changed, but the total number of marbles before and after the transfer remain the same. So the total remains the same. Why total remains the same? Because it is an internal transfer. Example, let's say Ellen has five marbles, Ben has five marbles. So total number of marbles is Okay, let's say Ellen, five, right? Ben, also five. Okay, so total is 10, right? Total is 10. Now, if Ben give one marble, okay, Ben give one marble to Ellen, Ellen would have six, Ben would have four. So, what's the new total? New total is also 10. Okay, so you can see here there is there is called total unchanged. The total remains the same. So when this happens, it happens when there's an internal transfer they give to each other. Eh? So the total remains the, the same. Okay. All right. Now let's see some examples. Tom has half the number of marbles uh, Ben had at first. So you can see here Tom one unit and Ben is two units. Uh, ben, two units. After Ben gave 12 of his marbles to Tom, Tom had two thirds of the number of marbles Ben had. How many marbles did Tom have at first? Okay, so at first, so you can see the total number of marbles he had all together remained the same after the transfer. Okay, so therefore, the number of units that represent the number of marbles must also be the same. So at first, one unit for Tom, two units for Ben. Okay, in the end, Tom has three units, Ben has, uh, Tom has two units, Ben has three units. So what's the total here? The total is, at first is three, total four, at the end is five. Okay, so since the total is unchanged, we need to find the lowest common multiple. What's the lowest common multiple of three and five? What's the lowest common multiple? Fifteen, right? Okay, very good. So three times five. Okay, 3 times 5. Right, 5 multiplied by 3. Okay. So when you multiply by 5 and 3, you get 15. Okay, and you get 15 here. Okay. So if I multiply by 3 for the, at first, so uh, multiply by 5, everything I multiply by 5, right? 1 times 5, I get 5. 2 times 5, I get, I get 10. Okay. So in the end, multiply by 3 for the total, everything also I, I must multiply by 3 because this ratio are connected. So 2 times 3, I get 6. 3 times 3, I get 9. Okay, so you can see here the total 15 units, huh? 15 units. Okay, so the total remains the same. So what you do, what we are doing here, we are making the total number of units for Tom and Ben at first, the same with the end. Okay. Now, let's take a look. Huh? Let's continue. So, you can see after I make the total the same, I can see that at first, Tom has 5 units. And then in the end, Tom has 6 units. So, what is the increase here? Increase by plus 
one unit, right? There's an increase by one unit. So why is there an increase by one unit? Because Ben gave 12 of his marbles to Tom. So Tom has received 12 marbles from Ben. Because of this increase or because of these uh, marbles that he received from Ben, now the number of units increased from 5 to 6. Okay, so that's why one unit is 12 marbles. Okay, one unit is 12 marbles. And how many marbles did Tom have at first? Now Tom has 5 units here. Yeah? So you can see here, at first uh, is 5 units. So 5 times multiplied by 12, you get 60 marbles. Huh? So Tom had 60 marbles at first. Okay? Alright, very good. Okay, another example. Huh? So there were 3 quarters, many adults as children on the bus. So adults 3 units, children 4 units. After 15 children alighted from the bus, and 15 adults boarded the bus. Uh, okay, take note. Huh? Now, this in this instance, it is not an internal transfer. But you still use the same strategy of total unchanged. Why? What's the reason? Because, you see, eh? the, for the first ratio, number of children alighted. 15 children alighted from the bus, but 15 adults boarded the bus. So, if 15 children alighted and 15 adults boarded the bus, so in the end, is there any change in the total number of passengers in the bus? No, right? There's no change. So because there's no change, that is why you can use this strategy of total unchanged. Okay? You can use this strategy of total unchanged. Huh? So let's do the unitary method. At first, adult 3 units, children 4 units. In the end, adults is twice. Okay? There are twice as many adults as children. So adults 2 units, children 1 unit. So what we do, since they are the same here. Okay, 3 plus 4, you get 7. Okay, you get 7. 2 plus 1, I get 3, right? So what's the lowest score multiple of 7 and 3? 21. So how to get 21? I multiply by 3 to the total. Here also, I multiply by 7. Okay, I multiply by 7 to get 21. Okay, here also, multiply by 3, I get 21. So you can see here, the total is the same. So 21 units, here is also 21 units. Right? So if I multiply by 3 to the first ratio, so 3 multiplied by 3, I get 9. 4 multiplied by 3, I get 12. Okay? So after I make the total the same, adults is 6, sorry, adult is 9, and children 12. In the end, children, adults, they are 14. Children are I get 7 units. So let's compare now. Huh? After you make the total the same, then you can compare. So adults at first 9 units and then becomes 4 units. So there is an addition of 5 units for adults. Okay, Why is there a reason? Why is there an increase of the number of units for adults from 9 to 14? Because why? Ah, 15 adults boarded the bus. Right? Okay, 15, uh, 15 adults boarded the bus. Okay, so 5 units is 15, right? Okay, so number of adults increased by 5 units, number of children increased by 5 units. 5 units is, 5 units is 15, 1 unit is 15 divided by 5, you get 3. Now 9 units, why 9 units? Because they ask you how many adults were on the bus at first, okay, which is this 9 units, right? So 9 units is 9 times 3, you get 27. So this answer, you have, there were 27 adults at first, okay? So the question, they can vary the question. Huh? They, make it, they can ask you how many adults are there in the end or how many children are there at first, how many children are there in the end. Okay, so you, you need to read the questions very carefully. Huh? Some students, they apply the right strategy but they misread the final question and then in the end, they get the wrong answer. Huh? So please do not make such careless mistake. Okay? Alright. Okay, let's move on. Huh? Okay, so if you don't understand, no problem. So what you can do later when I send you the video clip, you can always repeat again. Huh? But if you, after watching the video clip, you still don't understand, then uh, you can see me in class.